You're just a big YouTube fan. I am. I love YouTube. I love YouTube more than I love television. <laughs> See, that's why I do YouTube, so I can get your uh, well, approval. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always trying to earn your approval in life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bloggy flips. All right, everybody, welcome back. My name is Anthony. Today I'm with my mom. Hi, everybody. This is uh, Cindy, but you can call her mama. Yep. Mom. Mama. Mommy. Mother. <laughs> <laughs> I've promised for the longest time to have her on a video. And uh, we had one planned a couple years ago, but then I got a flat tire, so I thought it was a bad omen. So then we never, yep. never did it. She always says that she's going to embarrass me, but I, I tell her that I can. He can the just edits. edit it out. So yeah. when I start I my know. YouTube channel, I'll just say all kinds of stuff. Then <laughs> okay. I am going to ride your coattails, though. <laughs> I'm going to say, "Hey, I'm Froggy's mama." But we are at the uh, Southport Antique Mall in Southport, Indiana, just uh, near Southside, I guess. Right? Is what mm -hmm. those but I saw this cool listing pop up on Facebook. I don't know if you can see it, but it's for a 1954 Superman lunchbox. Um, I can only see one side of it, so I do see that, that there's some rust and everything. Uh, I can't see the other side, but this is a very rare lunchbox, and they have it in this antique mall for $200, which I think is a good deal. I think even if the other side is in bad shape, it's probably worth more than that. I shouldn't be out here talking. We should be inside looking for it. because. Right. It could, it could sell fast. there's a few cars. But anyway, uh, I saw that pop up uh, last night. And so I called my mom this morning and said, hey, do you want to come be on a video? Do some antique mall shopping. And, uh, oh, yeah. you know, obviously because I'm her favorite. That's right. That's right. A, <laughs> I I'm tell a, them all that. I'm her absolute favorite. I tell all my kids that. But I really am. And that's what they all say too. But I really am. If they want the world to know that they're your favorite, they can start their own YouTube channel. <laughs> We're going to go see if it's still in here, then we're going to look around. Uh, she has a much different eye than I do. She likes uh, cast iron and yes. copper pots and kettles. And yes, and just, uh, galvanized steel. Uh, like what do you call that stuff? Like country chic or something? Uh, or? Just stuff. Uh, stuff. I like stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting ready to redo my kitchen though, so I yeah. want to have things to hang. And I'm going to display all my cast iron, so that's real cool. There Especially you if you can find some old stuff to display. So, so cool. it's very exciting. All right, so yeah, let's go look around. We're gonna okay. take you with us. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> oh, those are so cute. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Oh, are you gonna buy it for me? No, because it's twelve dollars. I only have twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> this. Brooke Shields. Brooke though. Shields. It's 25 bucks. She got old. Look, it's from Kmart. That is crazy. That's fun, isn't it? 1097. <laughs> isn't that something? So it's in a glass case. Oh, I love this. What is it? This salt thing. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I'll let you pick out one present. <gasps> oh, dang. <laughs> we just got here, though. I know, I'm not, look at that. I bet that was olives or pickles for olives or pickles or something. Let me see what it says. Isn't that neat? Antique? We have much different yeah, items. pickle something. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I know, it don't do nothing for you. Do you have uh, <gasps> fond memories these? of stuff like that? Look at these pitch, these uh, teapots. Okay. You love copper. I love copper and I love cast iron too. There you go. Did you used to drink sodas like that? Um, we never did drink Pepsi. No, it's always but, Coke. Um, yeah, Coke. And then Tab yeah. was a big one. Look at that ALA. There's one of the YouTubers that I watch. Say what? Uh -huh. They drink that stuff all the time. Oh, really? We have it here too, but I think like in Kentucky and Tennessee is where it's big. Oh, these are pretty. Look at these. All these blown <laughs> glass things. Aren't those? Oh, look at those. Oh my gosh. Oh. Man, you're not good at anything. Look at all the fishing lures. Like, where do they get all this stuff? Just buying it from yard sales. Yard sales and um, probably like uh, estates and stuff. Yeah. You know what these are? That's how you do it. Do you what? know what those are? They go on top insulators. of, yeah, they're insulators for um, like electric poles or something. Hmm. They, I mean, they're 
something to do with that. Yeah. Oh, look at this. The, uh... Hey, Culligan Man! Hey, Culligan Man! Culligan Patches. That See, like is so like that. neat. That's not too expensive. That's only $15. Look at the little logs back there. Did you get that? Didn't you? Hey, Culligan Man! <laughs> yeah. <Do> you... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think of all the stuff I had as a kid, wishing I still had like my holly hobbies and the little See? Cinderella doll. See, uh, make me a nostalgia list and I'll find this stuff for you. Oh, I don't want that. No, you don't want you it. Know, you know what I want. I like cast iron and galvanized. This so is heavy. really neat. Oh, that's new, isn't it? Yeah, that's new. I've nice. got like four of these. $45 though, that's not a bad price for those. Here's some records. You know what that is down there? Uh, it's a toilet. Yeah. It's a bedpan. <laughs> right there. I like that stuff too because I'm going to use that in my kitchen when I get that wall done. What, bedpans? No, I'm the, what's that called? It's porcelain. Ugh, I can't think of the name of it right now because my brain is not working out <laughs> Oh, mother. There's a oh, Lassie lunch Look at that. Lassie. Come Doesn't sound like a thermos is there. No. They're worth more when the thermos is. Oh, look, you know what this is? Is it a butter churn? Yep. Ooh, I wonder what that is. That would be cool in my. Is that a lightning rod of some sort? I don't know, but it'd be neat in my. Short. No, I don't know. In my, what you call it. Ooh, that's. It that's on the, the list. Side? That's on the list of my presents. I get to, my present I get to pick out. Yep. Lightning rod with white ball. Hmm. Look at all that. I got a bunch of these blue jars. Yeah. The panning jars. I have a couple or three of the zinc lids too that were my mammals that were in the basement. See, there's another one of those things. Oh, look at that lunchbox. Are these like different? Oh, okay. They're yeah, different yeah. booths, different yeah. people. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. a vendor mall. Okay. There's a Space Cadet lunchbox. That's kind of neat. It's a hundred bucks. Space Cadet? Yeah. Huh. That's not the one I want, though. What's this? Oh, my gosh. Yep. Look at that. Red Rider. Oh, you knife. shoot your eyes. Oh, that's the knife. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Is there a price on that? That's kind of neat. It'll shoot your eye out. Oh, it's the 75th anniversary, though. It's not an old one. Uh oh. So. Eh. Eh. There's a Dick Tracy glass. Oh, there it is right there. There it is. It doesn't look that bad. Like, I couldn't tell in the picture uh -huh. if it was all rusted out on top or not. See, it's got more rust on this side. Uh-huh. So, like, the best side's definitely facing out. Uh, okay. I still think that's good enough. You still think you want it? I think so. There's a Planet of the Apes. It's 80. Where was, oh, is that up there? Yeah. It doesn't have the thermos, though. How much is that one? Get some price on it. Uh, 15? 15. That's not bad, is What's it? What's that one? Pink Panther? That's cute. That's Chitty cute. Chitty Bang Bang. This is that one, 30? That's cute. The prices don't seem crazy on some of this stuff. What else we got here? I was be so else. scared of Planet of the Apes when I was really? a kid. I, it was like a horror movie. I couldn't watch it. I was just scared of it. I kind of like the Yoda puppet. Box. Oh, he's cute. The box isn't perfect, but Yoda looks clean inside there. How much does that say? I think it says 95. Holy Moses. These little toys, you had those when you guys were kids too, that press the signs and make them oh, do yeah. flips and Remember stuff. This. So the Evil Knievel says firm. The lunchbox does not say firm, so they might take Ooh, it off. They might, yeah, they might take down on that. Sometimes at an antique booth, if it doesn't say firm, they'll automatically give you 10% off. All you have to do is ask. Oh. So, hmm. probably not all of them now. I like the Popeye statue too. Yeah. Okay, let me just make sure before. Oh, look, graded Pokemon cards. I didn't expect to see that. I had these when I was a kid. Uh -huh. All these glasses with the, the cartoon characters. And I gave them to my mamma when I was a kid because we had collected oh, really? them from somewhere. I mean, they were still there when Uncle Bobby moved. Really? Out of the house, yep. Are they from the 60s or 70s? Probably 70s, I would think. There's the mad game. I've bought that so many times. You have bought yeah. it? <laughs> What's that? Oh, there's a Three Stages camera. I like those McDonald's cups right there. When were that? What was that year? Oh, that would have been 80s, wouldn't it? I'm sure. Looks like 80s. So funny. I don't know. All right, so we said yes on the lunchbox, and we said no on the Evil Knievel because 
it's not complete. Yeah. And it's firm. So it's passing on that. I, I like to watch people canning, you know, on YouTube and stuff. <laughs> some of them, because some of them, you know, they call them rebels. You're just a big YouTube fan. I am. I love YouTube. I love YouTube more than I love <laughs> television. See, that's why I do YouTube, so I can get your uh, well, approval. Yeah. Yeah, that's voice. it. So, <laughs> voice trying to earn your approval on life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't have that ever, do you? <sighs> oh my gosh. Yeah, well, I can't stand you. You're my least favorite kid of all time. One of these days, I'll live up to your standards. Wow. Well, Is it on the left side? I'm not seeing it. Oh, <laughs> I'm not right seeing there. It oh, okay. Well, that was a success. Kind of. Yeah. You got a present. I got a present. I got the lunchbox. Uh, not not perfect condition by any means right but it's still cool and then got it for 180 which i think is a steal yeah i think I right bet. i it's really neat yeah it'd be cool if you could find a thermos to, to set with it you know yeah so you never know but yeah we'll talk often all right mom say love you bye love you bye say love you bye love you all right, we're back here in the garage and just real quick along with spending a nice afternoon with my mom we were able to get what we came for ended up snatching this lunchbox for 180 it was marked at 200 but like i said most times at antique stores as long as they're not marked firm most of them will automatically give you 10 percent off which is just a cool little cool little trick now i'm not a lunchbox expert by any means but i did know enough to know that this is a pretty sought after lunchbox it's the 1954 superman lunchbox it does not have a thermos with it but like this is one of those things that if you google uh, lunchbox holy grail this is the one that pops up now unfortunately the lid is the part that has the most bit of uh, rust and damage on it the back side actually looks pretty good but there's been instances uh this lunchbox in mint condition i think at one time it held the record at uh selling for like thirteen thousand dollars i don't know if that still holds true or not but still that's a lot of money for a lunchbox it's pretty easy to look on worth point and have about 15 years worth of ebay data and you can kind of see various conditions and kind of see what they go for in any certain condition when something in mint condition has that much potential value pretty much every condition below that is going to have some form of value my favorite listing that i saw on worth point was from like 2019 it was actually missing the lid completely missing the handle and the back was actually rusted out worse than the lid of this one and that one still sold for 53 bucks so i honestly don't think there's any way to get hurt on this worst case scenario spent a nice afternoon with my mom found a new little antique mall to frequent and someone will want this bad boy eventually so that's all i got for you this time as always i want to thank you so much for watching the video but until next time stay safe stay healthy love ya bye when they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me I guess they'll know I'm buying this crap